everyone so welcome to the new video of uncock so let's talk about the new component which is inside the data workflow so okay so in the previous video we had seen uh, these things right import group import output set output console so let's talk about create table and create value what is that cool so let me drag and drop this or before that let me just quickly read through this tool tip you can also read by pausing this video what it says is creates an empty table array of objects use number of rows to define how many empty rows or object to add you can set create index to yes to add a named key index to each row cool so let me just drag and drop so let me explain you in, in simple v what is this create table okay so let's suppose let me just quickly save this uh, what we are going to do create table create table cool so what is table right you guys know like table is just like a combination of rows and column so when we create a table let's suppose uh, this is kind of a spreadsheet right let me open a blank sheet okay let me open this blank work book right so what we do is when we say table we need to specify the rows right what are the number of rows that we are going to add inside this and what are the number of columns that we should put into a table that is what the table says right so here when we talk about this create table component here we are doing the same thing in this case we are like we can visualize that thing right this is a table but in this case we are doing or we are creating a similar table which would be having this kind of layout some number of columns some number of rows and as we create a table it is first blank and then we inject the values into it right then we write the values inside it as simple as that so similarly this component is used to create a table structure which is a blank structure so if I just hover over this here also says cool so let's do it so when if I click on this here you will see this window here in this label you can just put it as label sorry as table create index as yes let it keep as yes number of rows as maybe two okay so let's do it and now once this table is created let's see how it looks so as you already know you are pretty aware about this right console so if you want to see what is the output of this how it looks as we go through this then you can just add a console just to see how it looks right as simple as that so let me just put a button component over here to just trigger this data workflow button button okay cool event i will just put it as dwf create table preview okay let me log in i will just add here some window to hide these details for login obviously i don't want to disclose that login details cool so let me inspect this let me open console if I click on submit what you will see is you will see a table right so what is table it is again a array of objects so in uncork whenever any person says you table just imagine this structure we are having an array and inside that we are putting the objects so each and all, every object is row we can say right so if we have put two rows then two objects if three rows then three object so as we have mentioned here number of rows as two so we got two objects here inside this array and again we had set it as blank we hadn't set a value so it is like a blank object not completely blank we have the index here which is zero and one why this index value is coming okay so we have asked it to include the index right yes or no so it is yes so when it is yes you can imagine in this way as we are creating a table and here the default column maybe one uh, index is getting created 
and it is automatically adding index to it right you can just imagine this so when i say we have created row now two rows then you can imagine this two rows are created right so a table is created which is by default having an index column and 0 and 1 are the respective index indexes cool so that is what we do to do so if we click in, click here no then again the table would be created obviously but it won't be having any indexes it would be a blank table like a blank object so let me quickly show you that see we don't have an index here right so when we use this right when we need to use this so there would be a use case where you need to create a table okay or you have some values and that values you need to put in this format right array of object so in that case you can use this create table and you can inject the value inside it so so yeah that's it from the table component so let's quickly see what is uh, create value let me put it here as blank let me drag and drop let's say let's see what uncox is create value right let's you create a value and pass it to a data workflow so here basically what we are doing here is we can create a value here so let's suppose what is that what does that mean right so just save it in this way let me just update it to create value so at least let me save this okay so let's do it let's put a hidden component over here so what we are going to do is let's keep this variable name as hidden only and inside that we are going to push the values okay so create value is not only used for just pushing those value there are n number of use cases for it but let's for an example for the sake of this create value component what is the use let's create a sample value here we can put it as sample value okay and in the output what i'm going to i'm going to put it in inside the hidden component right i'm going to inject this value which we have created to this variable which is named as hidden okay that's it so basically what we need to do is okay so what is the use of create value is we can create the value and we can put so here we have put the action as value right but we can use different things also right if i keep it visible over here then with the help of create value i can decide here i can set the value whether i want visible yes or no so if i want is it's as visible as if i want to make it as visible as yes then i will write it here as yes okay so then what this would be interpreted as the create value variable is yes and this yes value is further passed to this output which which is having the action as visible right so visible yes so this is the operation that would be executed so for now let's put this value as value then what value we need to put that we can specify here as sample value on save on a submit button here i will just mention that data workflow as create value save and close and save so if i refresh this now and we'll click on the submit button but before that let me show you these things we don't have anything over here right it's completely blank we don't have a hidden variable as of now but when i click on submit that data workflow will get trigger and whatever the value we had created inside that would be put into this which is hidden right and have, having the value that we have created in that or we have put in that create value component so create value component is something used to do this thing right we create a value and pass that value to whatever the component or to whatever the action we want right so yeah that's it from the today's video we had seen two things which is create value and the first one was uh, what was that it was create table 
so yeah we will go ahead with the gateways from the next video so hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please subscribe to the channel and also please like this video and share with your colleagues keep supporting guys thank you